Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are good. Today we are going to discuss about the syllabus for optometry biochemistry. So it is a branch of medical science. So the biochemistry which belongs to optometry student that we are going to discuss now. Here, first the chapter role of basic biochemistry in optometry second chemistry of proximates principles chemistry of carbohydrates classification so here we should know the two different things are there chemistry of proximates and chemistry of carbohydrates biochemical importance of different carbohydrate then glycose amino glycan what is glycose amino glycan it comes under the classification of carbohydrate so friends you should know that the my motto is to discuss this syllabus that biochemistry is in detail for the medical students and somewhat less detail for the dental student and it is very brief for the students of physiotherapy, optometry and nursing. So therefore I am discussing this syllabus. Here the glycose amino glycans it comes under the classification and it is a heteropolysaccharide. So here the three, third chapter is chemistry of proteins. You have to learn chemistry of proteins and amino acids. These are the two different words, proteins and amino acids. Number of amino acids comes together and they form a protein molecule. So here, you have to learn here chemistry of proteins and chemistry of amino acids also. And their classification, properties, functions, biological important peptides, denaturation of protein. So you have to learn for the examination and this is must my motto important mo motto is that many students they left one of the part of the syllabus and if a question arises in the examination they remain failed to solve that answer therefore one should know the syllabus perfectly then and then only they should appear for the examination and nobody should not a single student should omit one of the part of the syllabus belongs to them so you should know the fourth chapter is chemistry of lipids under this lipids you have to learn classification of lipids and biological importance of triglycerols cholesterol phospholipids fatty acid prostaglandins so you should know that chemistry of lipid classification is to be studied for the student of optometry but it will be in brief not in a very emphasis manner so you should know that you have to write the important points only among the each reading of the chapter or topic then the fifth chapter will be enzymes under enzymes for the optometry student they have to learn general nature of the enzymes with classification then coenzymes and factors affecting enzyme action so you should learn you, you should know the classification of enzymes how many types of enzymes are there how many uh, how groups of enzymes are there under the classification how many enzymes are there different types of enzymes are there under this classification then coenzymes you have to study then the factors which affect the enzyme action so many factors are there for example temperature pH then concentration of the substrate all these factors you should know that they are clinical important the clinical importance of the enzymes is very important to study as far as the knowledge of the diseases different types of diseases are there liver diseases heart diseases kidney diseases among 
these diseases which type of enzyme is uh, altering the value of the blood in the body and which leads to the disease that is very important that is known as clinical importance so clinical importance of enzymes is also this clinical importance is also known as the diagnostic importance of the enzyme so you should know then other chapter that is sixth chapter is vitamins vitamin is nothing but you know that it is an micronutrients so this vitamins under this vitamin the nature of the vitamin you have to study water soluble vitamin and fat soluble vitamin so here the classification of vitamin sources where from we get the vitamin then rda that is required daily allows then active form of the particular vitamin and metabolic role then deficiency manifestation for example thiamine which known as vitamin b1 that is water soluble vitamin if it is lacking in the body then uh, this is known as very very is caused therefore this deficiency manifestation is important to learn then hypervitaminosis if the vitamin amount is increase in the body if it is increases then it is said to be hypervitaminosis then what happens during the hypervitaminosis you have to learn then vitamin a that is also known as retinol vitamin a is a fat soluble vitamin then vitamin c vitamin e riboflavin inositol these are the different vitamins you have to study for the examination the seventh chapter for the optometric student is nothing but minerals under this heading you have to study the biochemistry role of biochemistry role of sodium potassium magnesium then you have to study calcium and phosphorus so these are the different minerals you have to study and they are known as macronutrients macro nutrients that you have to study for the examination then the other minerals they are called as fe selenium then zinc and copper these are called as micro nutrients also known as trace elements these you have to study under the heading minerals so you should know that now the you have to study metabolism of under the heading metabolism of the carbohydrates proteins and lipids that you have to study under the metabolism after the chemistry of carbohydrate protein and lipid you have to study metabolism of carbohydrate protein and lipids then you should know the another chapter called as hormones hormones and the basic concepts you have to study basic concepts in metabolic regulation in metabolic 
रेगुलेशन इन रिलेशन बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन मेटाबॉलिक रेगुलेशन विथ एग्जाम्पल्स सो यू हैव टू स्टडी अंडर दी हारमोन बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन मेटाबॉलिक रेगुलेशन विथ एग्जाम्पल्स एम्फेसिस ऑन इंसुलिन एम्फेसिस ऑन इंसुलिन Insulin is nothing but it is an important hormone which regulates the blood glucose concentration in our body. So you have to emphasize the insulin. Then we have to see the clinical biochemistry. The tenth number is clinical biochemistry. The chapter ten is biochemistry under this heading you have to study about the investigation that can be done in the laboratory for example blood sugar blood urea serum creatinine these are the different parameters which are present in the blood then you have to study the estimation as well as significance of this significance of the parameters Eleven chapter called as ocular biochemistry. Ocular biochemistry. Under this heading, you have to study biochemical aspects in relation. Cornea. lenses vitreous humor then cone cells and rod cells so you should know the biochemistry of cone cells and rod cells and cornea lenses vitreous humor structure and so friends you should know that the whole syllabus study is important to get through the examination therefore we should not omit any part of the syllabus if a question arises in the examination then it will become difficult for you so the books which i will just show you that books are important for the study of the ocular biochemistry that is known as the textbook medical biochemistry by dinesh puri and the another one is basic biochemistry here by r p jaiswal it these are the two important books to follow for the ocular biochemistry so if you like my lecture share it for the other students to know the whole syllabus and subscribe it thank you very much